Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon. I am here with the Wendy Bond. We are at the um, LACME offices in Fairlawn, New Jersey. Wendy Bond is, tell me your title because I keep changing it. National Director of Education. Oh, that's good. I, I gave her so many titles before. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so Wendy Bond does the coolest colorings. I mean, she's so inventive and clever, and she is going to demonstrate how she can get color without using any color, color on mannequin heads and on clients, and how she uses these to create magical fantasy fashion colors. So take it away, Wendy. Absolutely. So Technia is our color refreshing shampoo. So it refreshes all types of hair color, reds, blondes, violets. But what I love it for is temporary fantasy color. So you can take a client like me who's highlighted and do say the red over it and I'll have like pink temporary hair for say up to 10 days or two weeks. So it's really fun. So each mannequin that you're seeing, I had done different layers of color. So with this one, first I used our um, blonde toning shampoo and then I had rinsed it out and then I did layers of like the red shampoo where I painted it on with a tint brush yeah, and I got these cool, yeah. beautiful like pink highlights and then over the, the red I went ahead and did some of the uh, ultra purple so or ultra violet so each one of these has a temporary color created on very light blonde hair but you can enhance all different levels of hair. So I thought I'd give you some little on-the-spot demos. Yeah, before you do that, how did you get it uh, dimensional? So were you using foils or balayage? How do you no, paint the color? it's all balayage. So it's all balayage, and you have the choice of, in this case, I painted a very sheer amount of the purple on and did a very light brush stroke. So that's how I got this very sheer purple. And then I rinsed it out fairly quickly and shampooed the ultra clear after. So it's a combination of like layering the tones or how much you saturate the hair. So it's all freehand, no foils, no nothing, just very quick. And we were talking about this, this is yak hair. This <laughs> is what, what is the preferred right now for mannequin heads? So yeah, a lot of competition mannequins, you know, have yak hair and it's great quality. It reacts just like human hair. It takes color just like human hair. So when you want that lightest blondest hair or even for hair extensions, you can get weaves and wefts that are at yak hair now. Okay, so this demo is so cool. She did a quick little one for us beforehand. So, so you know, Hello. no rehearsal here. <laughs> so, d so show us how you do this. So, absolutely. So, I had taken some of the red, um, ultra red shampoo, and I can do a little demo by using, you know, one of our, our white swatches. These swatches come from Pivot Point. They're probably my favorite hair swatches because I feel like, you know, the quality is always really good. The consistency is good. So, I'm going to do one on a blonde piece. But I'm also going to do one on a brown so that you can kind of see that, you know, the hair doesn't have to be crazy light. So the idea is, you know, if you had a client that was anything from like a 7 uh, mahogany to like a, a level 4 or 5, you could use this ultra red over it. I'm going to let it sit. So normally when you're using our shampoos or treatments, the processing time would be somewhere between, say, 3 to 5 minutes. So, and even though it might stay in my fingers for a second, once I wash it, it's going to come right off. Well, how about in the hair? How long does it last in hair? So, yak hair and human hair. <laughs> yak hair and human hair. It really does last a significant amount of time. Um, so, when you're using something like this, you know, depending on the client, we do get some girls that have like the violet purple fantasy color, and they'll use this almost every day because they want that very, very violet, violet all the time. For a regular person, I'd say one to three times a week is normal. Okay, what if your client has balayage highlights and she uses something like this? It is, is it going to grab differently on the porous hair from the untreated hair? Um, within reason. So I would say, you know, depending on if you're using it for a fantasy color effect, if the color is close to, if the client's hair is close to the level that you're using, like I'm using the ultra gold on somebody who's an eight or nine, it'll take more evenly. If I'm putting the red over like white, white hair, you know, you're going to get a little more variation based on if it's white or if it's yellow or if it's gold, but it tends to be pretty forgiving and really pretty, pretty nice to use. The other thing that's fun is you can even mix and match. So like when I sell these to my clients, I often sell them two different shades. Like I'll sell them the red treatment and the, uh, and the purple shampoo. Do you know what I mean? So you can have a lot of fun just playing at the back bar with these. These are also amazing if you're in a salon where you have to charge separately to refresh and color balance your clients, it's like you get away with not feeling bad because they don't want to pay to have a gloss put through. So you can give their hair color a boost by using one of our ultra shampoos or treatments. Oh, this is so good. So show us how you, when we were so rinsing we're this. Rinse. So we're going to go ahead and rinse our 
um, red off. And again, you could use this on any level of hair. Obviously, on darker levels of hair, it's going to be less intense. So this is just the shampoo. And like I said, I like to do a lot where I'll do one color of a shampoo and another color of a treatment. So now I go ahead and I have this really pretty, like fun sort of temporary color. The longer I'll leave that on, the more pink it'll get. As it dries, it'll dry into like a really pretty pink. So, and sometimes I'll layer the pinks with different colors. So in this case, I had put it over the brown hair. So this is probably like a level six swatch. And again, as the product dries, you're going to go ahead and see, you're going to go ahead and see that you'll see more of a, a change in the tone. If you leave it on longer, will it last exactly. longer? You would, I would say normally, like I took this off pretty quickly. You know, you're going to want to leave it on, say, like, uh, like five to ten minutes if you're trying to create fantasy color. I can start to see that uh, red tone kind of appearing on the end of that swatch. So normally, like for these mannequins, because I was trying to create more of a longer lasting color, I left them on like say 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm going to put this one over here. What would you charge a client for something like this? this oh, these are heavy. This yak hair is heavy. heavy. What would you charge a client? Her name is Alicia, by the way, okay. <laughs> Alicia. Um, so the interesting thing about this is you can do it a couple different ways. One way would be to um, go ahead and take the product from your retail shelf it doesn't take a lot of time to do this, and maybe they're buying the shampoo and treatment and you're doing this gratis. You're kind of doing this fun, quick hair painting or washing their hair with the violet or the pink, and then they take their product home. So that's one way to do it. If they're not going to be purchasing the product and you're just going to be charging for this, I charge somewhere between $20 and $35. You know, and, and like what you might for a blow dry. And what do you charge to for the shampoo? What, what is the retail? Um, the retail shampoo, these are 10-ounce bottles, so they're fairly large are in like the mid-20s, and the treatments are in the low 30s. So to get both, it's going to be around $50. If you use it every single shampoo, does it build up? Everything you do in life is kind of cumulative. So, I mean, if you use every single shampoo, it will build up to a point. But what I really like about these particular products is that they do leave the hair completely. And I didn't believe this till I'd worked with the product for a few months. So I'd have girls like come in with my type of hair, turn their hair pink or violet, like the violet over this white is really beautiful when you rinse it off, you're going to see. And I'd be like, I just don't believe you. There's no way your hair is going back to white. Once you stop using it, it's not going to be in 24 hours. But over the course of, say, 10 shampoos to 20 shampoos, it leaves the hair completely, which I've never seen another type of direct dye shampoo do, which is really nice. Okay, and one thing that we've heard is that using these uh, color shampoos and conditioners too often will dry out your hair. How do you address that? So these particular ones do not dry their hair. They don't have any kind of fugly, nasty smell. You know, a lot of those, like, shampoos have a really weird smell or texture. They almost make the hair feel kind of gritty and dirty. These feel exactly like every other shampoo. Your hair feels great when it comes out. I do personally, because I'm like a big color nerd, I tend to mix and match. So, like, I would sell you the red shampoo and the brown treatment. And I would say you're going to have like red velvet, like red velvet cake. And I would sell you the brown and the violet. And I'd be like, oh, it's like dark chocolate. And you can do the gold and the brown. And you've got milk chocolate. So, you know, it's, it's something that really should be prescribed. You don't want your client randomly going and picking this up and being like, I'm going to buy the purple shampoo. Because for blondes, we use the ultra clear. So, you know, it, it sort of puts the fun back in the whole thing for professionals. So it's a legit treatment. It's, it's a legit treatment. It's a legit color and refreshing or balancing treatment and it, clients love it once they try it but it's also a great add-on service we've even had a few clients where you know some salons will do what, what's called a color boost and they'll charge between say five to eight dollars with your service because you know you colored her hair two weeks ago doesn't matter what color you're using or how good it is she's like i have somewhere special to go tonight i wish i could get my color done again and then we encourage you to actually go to the back bar and mix up how much red, how much blonde, how much gold to sort of make her actual formula. So it's customizing it's it and you can it up customizable. Up charge, yeah. And like one of the best things about this product is it comes in liters and gallons. So if you have a particular shade you use a lot at the back bar, you can choose to buy it any way you want. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, thank you. Rinse off the purple, yeah. just yeah, so you can see it's one it. of my favorites because it's so pretty. So you're going to be able to see, and again, these were on and off very quickly, that you get this really pretty color. 
and in the very bottom, in the top, I had sort of painted the pink on top and the purple on the bottom. And you can see there's a little bit of variation. Like as this dries, this is going to get more pink. This is the purple and red kind of blended. So again, it's very soft, very pretty. And especially for these young girls that maybe have naturally blonde hair or have a few highlights and their moms are like, oh, she wants fantasy color, send them home with a tube of this. To so save good. yourself a nightmare. Wendy Bond, you're the best. Thank you so much. She's so smart. Um, follow her at? Wendy Bond Hair. And Lacme USA. Um, she's a, a great colorist and educator. And go to lacmeusa.com. I think that's yep. it. www. <laughs> all those Ws. Thank you so much, uh, Wendy, and have a great day. Thanks you're for welcome. joining us. Thanks.